Hello. Hi. Do you guys need help unloading? This we room? do. Oh, Lots yeah? of help. Oh, good. Get all your, we got get all your friends. Hi. Going oh, great. Going great. Ready for Maynard. You ready? Let's do it. You gonna be a good show? Yeah. Oh yeah. You all excited? Oh, I can't yeah. wait. You guys excited? Oh yeah. yeah! I can't wait, it's Maynard Day today. <laughs> it's Maynard Day. Hey man, how you doing man? What's up? Good to see you. How are you man? Good, good. good. How's life on the road? Well, it's uh, it's long, but it's good. Watch out behind you. Nice to meet you. Patrick, Patrick. Hi. Nice to meet you. Rob. There we go. Thank you. Solo trombone player, huh? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Overrated. <laughs> What's your name and what do you do? Uh, my name is Ed Sargent, and I am the tour manager slash zookeeper of this organization. Touring, it's, uh, it's a lot of things, but one thing, it never is boring. Good morning, babe. It's a, it's a lot of fun to be on the road and travel all over the world, especially with somebody I like as much as uh, Maynard Ferguson. Good afternoon, boss. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, good. Welcome to Greenville, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Thank you very much, nice to be here. We're excited to have you. <laughs> thank you. It's gonna be a great show. Oh, okay, thank you. Say hello to Maynard up here. Oh, is that Maynard right there? <laughs> hey. Just hey, folks. <laughs> You look different uh, in person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you're carrying his horns? Is that how it works? I know. That's, it's always that way. Yeah, yeah. well. Yeah. All right, we'll see you in a bit, all right? Yeah, it looks just like a camera, doesn't it? No, yeah. Yes. I don't think you should sound good warming up because you're warming up. So your muscles are cold. So you're warming the muscle. It's like a pitcher when he warms his arm up into the pitch. When he first starts throwing the ball, it's pretty wild. Yeah. So if he started forcing his arm, he'd throw his arm out before the game even started. So can you isolate four overhead lights? So you guys getting ready for a clinic here? Yep. Yes, we are. Go listen, to the high school guys. We're preparing. Preparing. Yep. Psyching yourselves up. Yep. 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 Yeah. Get me cotton ready. Absolutely. Shall we, gentlemen? Well, I know. I said to my father, uh, once being a school principal, and I said, you know, Dad, ah, uh, uh, the teaching thing is not for me. I will never be involved in education of any kind because, you know, I'm I'm an artist. I'm a musician. You know, I think I was 13 years of age at the time. You know, and so that's when you're sure you're really happening. You know. <laughs> Jeff, say hello to me. Hello. My pleasure. My pleasure. Nice to be nice here. Nice to meet you. So I told him that uh, I'd never be an educator or anything like that. And somewhere up there now, my dad is laughing at me because, uh, of course, I did become so involved and still am, of course, uh, with uh, uh, music education in general and jazz uh, education in particular. Uh, one of the things that uh, 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 just in hearing you play, it's obviously that it's close to a beginner's band, but yet you've got a lot of things together. Yeah. Come on, let's get all the horns up here right now. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, shall we do it once through uh, uh, one more time? Um, Ernie, you have any comments on the trumpets? Uh, a great jazz trumpet player, and he's also a marvelous classical trumpet player. You know, that's why I never let him play any solos. You know, uh, it's my band, you know. big finish and our big encore. After you play and you strike your stuff from the stage, it basically needs to go to a holding point. Yeah, yeah. 
Excellent. Great, great. I got some pasta, medley, potatoes of some kind, meatballs. And okay. Free food is always trumpet food. <laughs> Have I got food in my teeth? I think I know. This usually is the quiet time of the night, you know, before the show. It's hard to do close-ups when you're eating, man. I, I feel a little shy. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm vegetarian. It's very difficult being a vegetarian on the road. That's a good story. You but I'm very, story I'm trying. Story. You're a musical director. Indeed. What does that mean? Um, what does it mean? Um, I've been here for four years. <laughs> um, you were and, the, and I'm the only one left. <laughs> so, Nick Franklin said there. It's a nifty Maynard Ferguson t-shirt uh, that I designed in coordination with a company that I've worked with for many, many years. And usually we try to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take that shirt out for a couple of tours and things, selections from this is what we'll be playing tonight. I've also got, uh, as of today, our first new Maynard Frisbees. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please help us welcome to the stage Concord Jazz recording artist, the living legend, Mr. Maynard Ferguson. I enjoy performing for people, and and I get that little buzz. Uh, you know, we don't ever like to admit uh, it's called nervous. I look forward to playing tonight, you know. It's never boring, uh, you know, and, and when the band hits the stage and the music starts happening. We'd just like to take a moment to say hello and let you know how delighted we are to be playing here this evening. This last few days we, you know, did a hit. We'll leave like one or two in the morning and then get into the next venue. You know, there's so many musicians out there today that aren't very friendly, but uh, Maynard is like the, the greatest boss in the world to work with. He's like, he's like my grandfather. He's like one of the greatest guys in the whole world. You certainly get tired. I mean, three days ago, we were in Phoenix. We had last night off. We came in. It was an 800-mile trip. It can get monotonous, but when you when you have, when you you have take a time to, to, to see the Grand Canyon and see stuff like that, you know, it, it makes it a whole lot easier. I had the offer from Duke Ellington three times in my career, when I, uh, and I was, it was impossible to accept rather than my choosing. Uh, once, of course, I was under contract to Stan Kenton. The other time, I was under contract to uh, uh, Paramount Pictures in the uh, music department, of course. We always thought that was fun because Ellington came to hear my band at um, a Birdland. And, uh, and he loved uh, the, uh, the whole performance, came backstage, and only Duke can say this with th that special elegance he always had, you know. Very elegant man. And, uh, and he said, Maynard, my boy, why don't you give up all this foolishness and come with me? Uh, you know, and I just loved it, you know. And he said it openly in front of half the band and a few other people, you know. And it, that was his... Uh, special way up saying how much uh, uh, he enjoyed the evening, you know. And when, 
you're when you're out there, you're, you're you're really concentrating on your parts because you know we've played these charts so many times. If you mess up, it's not because you don't know the you don't know the chart or you don't know this. It's because you're not you're thinking about tomorrow. You're thinking about the bus ride. You're thinking about all. The, you're thinking about getting home. You're thinking about other things but the music. I'd like to now play for you a medley of um, some of the things that have been very successful for me in my recording career and therefore, of course, responsible for my incredible wealth. Uh, this is called the MF, that's my initials, the MF hit medley. Yeah. No signs of slowing down, of course. No, I don't feel that right now, and uh, the, the things are very exciting for us right now, uh, both the American tours and uh, uh, the television and video appearances, and the, also the, uh, uh, the foreign tours. It's exciting to take these young guys I have with me because uh, very often there's got to be at least a few of them that have not been outside of the United States. Yeah. Well, the, the crowd definitely adds to the energy of the show. The better the crowd, the better the show. It's a give and take thing. You know what I mean? The band will always do its job. The more energy the crowd gives to the band, the more energy they get back from the band. Then, of course, my favorite form of earthling or humanoid is anybody who is a music teacher or band director, and especially if he's a double high C trumpet player. Let's hear it for Jeff Ayers. Jeff Ayers. Uh, Jeff, this is in four, isn't it? Uh, we're now going to do a version of the Blue Danube for you, and uh, we're lying, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, man. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I just enjoy uh, what I do. You want to kick it off for me? Yeah, yeah. What? Okay, it's your shot then. Uh, yeah, man. I think I'm very fortunate that I had parents that uh, were uh, uh, absolutely in love with uh, uh, music, uh, you know, so they were very encouraging to me. Uh, very quickly, I put away my hockey stick and my uh, hockey skates decided that I wanted to be Louis Armstrong uh, instead of Wayne Gretzky. And I still feel like that. I mean, it's my favorite toy, you know. My life is now complete, you know? I got married, I had two kids, and I played with Maynard. <laughs> Great crowd. They uh, really, really enjoyed it, and that, that makes all the difference in the world. <laughs> that was a riot. Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to Disney World next. That's right. Jeff Hairs and the big band. That's it. That's a gig. A few nice uh, adult beverages at Mr. Jeff Ayers' house and uh, time to get on the bus and head towards Boston. As the booking agent says, it's only 800 miles. <laughs> That's the end of the tour. That's it. <laughs> Maynard Ferguson! Maynard 
Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen.